are we gonna we're we're in the third segment now are we gonna take the website down or not i mean we're kind of missing our opportunity here we and can we, we can <laughs> We can, but let me just hang on. Let me let me turn some screens on. So hang on. Adam does not like this idea. No, I like that. Let's because I think I'll open it up with availability. Okay. And to prove it, we're gonna take the site down. And while we're talking here, we're gonna see if it comes back up. And if it doesn't, then well, we'll just pause the show. And you're recording it, so yeah, I'll share my screen when that happens. Okay, I'll make sure to make this bigger so that you have something to use if you want, right? So let me yeah, make man. this bigger. Share your screen. Let me run downstairs. Rachel needs to pull the gator out of the garage. The thing is loud, and I want to make sure she has the clearance to do that before we go back cool. in. Cool. I'll let him get his screens. I'm going to go to the restroom real quick, too. Okay. So, yeah, you by yourself for a minute. I have, yeah, I have everything set up. I'm going to go as well. I'll be back in five minutes. Everything's mm -hmm. set up. Okay. Everything's set up. Cool. Okay. Adam, take us away. Let me drop out marker here. Let's talk about availability because one of the reasons why – you even build this kind of infrastructure is for resilience, for availability. And uh, I suppose to test that, let's take the site down. What do you think? I love that idea. I think that's, <laughs> that's the best idea we've had all <laughs> evening. Be before we do it, what's going to happen? What should happen? Okay. So what should happen is we have a three node Kubernetes cluster. The application and the database are running on one node. They're close together. And when we take the VM down, another VM will just delete the node. Another VM should be created. And in the meantime, the website, the app, should migrate in the database from the VM that was deleted onto one of the other two VMs which are still running. Okay. When I say VMs because it's Kubernetes nodes. We have three. So we delete one. We expect Linode to recreate the VM, reprovision, like notice that, hey, there should be three, there's only one. And in the meantime, we expect the website to be recreated on one of the other two VMs and the database and everything okay. to be back together. That's and, what we expect okay. to happen. What's your, what are the odds? What are the odds? What well, saying, last like, time- How many nines are you thinking this is gonna work? <laughs> so <laughs> I don't expect this to take more than 10 minutes and last time when I tried this, <laughs> it was seven minutes. How many nines? Less than 0. 0.000 something, right? <laughs> well, I mean, are, no, not the nines of availability. How many nines are on your confidence level? Oh, How I see. How confident are you? Uh, there's 99.9, .9, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of nines. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Let me put it that way. <laughs> there's a lot of nines. All right. More than I have. Let's do this. Well, if it doesn't work then we can fix it, right? <laughs> right, and we can just leave the show and act like it worked. Exactly. <laughs> but no, I think we should leave like the real thing, right? With like proof how long okay. it took and all that. So Listeners, listen closely. There will be no edit stops here. There will be no breaks. Okay, so the here notes. And let's do this. Uh, okay. B29D. Let's go to nodes. Nodes. And I'm going to delete it. Okay. 29B. There you go, delete node. I can't I can't delete the node from here. Okay, I can't delete the node from here. I need to go to the Linode console. Oh so to go to the cloud console. Logistics. That's okay. Logistics. Yeah, because I can drain it, I can do other things. I can't just delete a node, right? You're not supposed so you're to do that. To access it through K9s. K9s, K9s. I don't know how you pronounce it. Yeah. Which K9, is really K9s. Cool. Okay. Yeah. A really cool CLI, like a awesome terminal app for accessing all the information about your Kubernetes clusters. But it does not give the ability to delete things, apparently. Yeah, well, but it's not safe, nodes, not safety. nodes. You can't delete yeah, nodes for safety reasons. But we're going to delete the VM, not power off, not reboot, delete. You're gonna delete, delete. You ready? Okay. See, I'm nervous. Okay. From, this is from now the Linux Are you sure admin. you want to delete this? This <laughs> is am. permanent. I want to take, I want to take changelog.com down and see how long it takes before it comes back up. All right, right this, is, this, is, too. this is proof of the pudding, right? right. If the pudding is good, up. this will work. All right, here we go. Ready, delete, boom. The VM's gone. Stopwatch started, we'll see. I expect okay. to get an email from Pingdom here very shortly. Yep, it'll as take well a minute. As a push notification to my watch. Mm-hmm. 
Walk us through why the 10 minutes. What's the window there? Why is it roughly 10 minutes? Why is it not more than 10 minutes? What's in, what's going to happen behind the scenes now? So behind the scenes, the VM is uh, going away, being deleted, being stopped, going away. The app will stop working and it will take a while for the Kubernetes to figure out that the node is not healthy. So we can see that the node is still ready, according to canines, according to Kubernetes, but we know that we have deleted the VM. It will take a while for that to be deleted. And when it's properly gone, when it's no longer there, like the, the physical VM has been powered down, we expect Kubernetes to try to respin or to, to um, recreate the app on another node that's healthy and ready and ready to go. So it's still up, right? We said delete VM. The VM is no longer in our, um, it's, it's red, we can see it. But has it actually been deleted? From Pingdom that we are down. There we go. So now Kubernetes confirmed that we no longer have the node. So now what's going to happen if we look at the deployment, if we look at the app, there we go, it's down and it has not been created anywhere. So what's the reason? It's persistent volume claim, a reference to persistent volume in the same namespace. I think that's okay. Minimum replicas unavailable. Where are the events? Let's see, let's go to event. Uh, pulled, everything's fine 95 seconds ago. We pulled all these things, still no fine. Warning. It's not a problem. Let's see, maybe at pulse. Oh, there you go, warning. Attached, failed attached volume. That's what we're waiting for. So multi-attach error for volume PVC. So this volume is already attached to another VM, the one that we deleted it. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna so detach it. Exactly, before it can reattach it to another VM. And that takes some time. That takes some time, exactly. I don't mm -hmm. know, well, last time when I, test, when I tested this, it took um, seven minutes, end to end. In seven minutes, everything was back up. We're still down, by the way. We can so, see- So answer this then, I go to change all the com right now, and I get a 503, a service, uh, you know, service is down essentially, it's not right. available. But yeah, via like, ping in the terminal, I'm pinging changel.com. I'm still getting a ping. Is that the node balancer? That is node balance, exactly. Yeah. Not only that, but we're hitting Nginx, right? right? So we have Nginx deployed on every single VM, on every single Kubernetes node. So we have three instances of Nginx ingress. So you can get to node balancer. You can get to um, Nginx, which runs in Kubernetes, but you can't get to the application. Gotcha. There's no application running, so it can't service these requests. So you're getting 503s. So this is a lot like chaos engineering here, only we are manually introducing, we are the chaos monkey, and we mm -hmm. are monkeying with ourselves while we record a podcast. So it's like a step beyond, like even more idiotic than <laughs> chaos engineering is what we're doing right now. But so far, we think it's working. And so that makes us feel good, but it's just kind of hurry up and wait to see if this thing can get reattached and, and go from there. Yeah. We're three I'm, minutes and 40 seconds in, according to my stopwatch. So watch. Gerhard, we had a downtime. So the, the difference between this and our old setup is this is going to auto heal as mm -hmm. long as it works as advertised. Whereas last time we had, last year, we had a downtime, which lasted multiple hours where it got into a state that it was never gonna, it doesn't auto heal. Like I had to basically drive home and get a hold of you and, and figure it out. You wanna tell that story a little bit while I wait here? So last year what happened, we, the Docker service basically under which we had a single VM back in the day and we were running Docker Swarm on a single VM and the Docker service was not configured to automatically start. I was expecting, to be honest, for the operating system to have this essential service by default started, but that was not the case. Mm -hmm. So we had to manually start the Docker service so that everything else would basically come back up. Right. And that was the problem. Obviously, we fixed it since, uh, but the Docker service, the Docker daemon in that case was not running, meaning that there was no change log app, no database, none of those things. Right. And that in this case, service wasn't managed or was supposed to be managed by CoreOS, but wasn't being or something like that. Um, it wasn't configured to automatically restart when the operating system restarts. So, so what can we see here is now we can see that the volume failed to mount 
after it failed to attach it. Now it attached the volume. So you can see that both the database and the application have the volume attached. And what I expect to happen very soon, the application to spin up. We can see the containers creating both the application and the database. And we can see they tried to create it for three minutes and 40 seconds. It tried to, basically it was aware, that's when it started being aware that, hey, I have to recreate this pod. The app pod and the database pod. Mm -hmm. So four minutes, container creating, let's see what's the state of it. If we describe it, successfully signed, the multi-attach was fixed. So let's see if we look at the logs, there's nothing there. Database backup, still container creating. We're in container creating. This one's ready now. I, no, sorry, no, it has just readiness probe. Let's see what state it's in. Still container creating. The database is already running. That's a good sign. There we go. We have PostgreSQL. Um, I'm a secondary and I'm following a leader. So this is the leader now. The leadership changed. We have, anyways, I'm not going to go into the details now. <laughs> No, I like this. I feel like play by play. play this by is play like sports announcer. That's right. It's like the radio when you're trying to yeah. listen to the game and you have no idea what's going on, and he's telling you which direction they're running. You're over here telling us exactly what K9s is reporting back. That's right. Yeah. Here on and K9s I have radio, the advantage of the visuals here. Right? The <laughs> listeners are like, "What is going on over there?" Here's yeah, what's going the on. Is still down. The website is still down, and uh, Gerhard's trying to give us confidence here that it's coming yeah. back up. It's coming. I have confidence in this. All I have to do is just basically, you know, let it play out. I know the right thing will happen. It will reconcile. Running. There you go. The app is up. Yes, baby. The Five minutes later, according to this, how how much do you have, Adam, on your Seven software? minutes. Ooh. Are we back up? I don't see it up on my side. Pingdom hasn't told me yet. Okay. Let's see if I can refresh the page here. Look at that. It's nope. booting. I'm still the app unavailable. is booting. He never seeing... failed, so that's good. Low bouncing happened. And we're back, baby. Yeah, that's true. Okay, official time is 7 minutes and 35 seconds, according to at least my refresh. There you go. Cool. Very cool. 